everyone, welcome back and thank you for tuning in to Islamic Coins Online Crypto Academy. As you know, we aim to deliver bite-sized tutorials on different aspects of cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology to help you build your understanding of this constantly changing and ever-advancing area of fintech. So today's topic is what is an ICO, which stands for Initial Coin Offering. An initial coin offering or an ICO is a type of capital raising activity in the cryptocurrency and blockchain environment. The ICO can be viewed as an initial public offering, which is also known as an IPO, that uses cryptocurrencies. However, it is not the most precise comparison as there are some crucial differences between the two fundraising activities. So to understand an ICO, we need to first have a quick overview of what an IPO is, and there are three main points to consider. First, an IPO or an initial public offering is when a private company becomes public by selling its shares on a stock exchange. Private companies work with investment banks to bring their shares to the public, which requires tremendous amounts of due diligence, marketing and regulatory requirements. And lastly, purchasing shares in an IPO is difficult as the first offering is usually reserved for large investors such as hedge funds and banks. An IPO is how a traditional company raises funds, unlike an ICO, which is the crypto industry equivalent. The difference between them is that in an IPO, an investor receives a share of a company, whereas in an ICO, they receive a token which doesn't represent any equity in the company. The main advantage of ICOs is that they remove intermediaries from the capital raising process and create direct connections between the company and their investors. In addition, the interests of both parties are aligned. Types of initial coin offerings, so there's two types. Um, one is private ICO. So in the private initial coin offering, only a limited number of investors can participate in the process. Generally, only accredited investors, financial institutions, and high net worth individuals can participate in these private ICOs and the company can choose to set a minimum investment amount. Second, so it's the public ICO. You got the public initial coin offering, which is a form of crowdfunding that targets the general public. The public offering is a democratized form of investing because almost anyone can become an investor. However, due to regulatory concerns, private ICOs are becoming a more viable option relative to public offerings. The rise of cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology is helping boost the popularity of ICOs. In 2017, more than $7 billion was raised using ICOs, and in 2018, the figure almost doubled. So how does an ICO work? An initial coin offering is a sophisticated process that requires a deep knowledge of technology, finance and the law. The main idea of ICOs is leveraging the decentralized systems of blockchain technology in capital raising activities that will align the interests of various stakeholders. So the steps in an ICO are first, the identification of investment targets. Every ICO starts with the company's intention to raise capital. The company identifies the targets for its fundraising campaign and creates the relevant materials about the company or project for potential investors. Second step is the creation of tokens. So essentially the tokens are representations of an asset or utility in the blockchain. The tokens are fungible and tradable. They should not be confused with cryptocurrencies because the tokens are just modifications of existing cryptocurrencies. Unlike stocks, the tokens generally do not provide an equity stake in a company. Instead, most of the tokens deliver their owners some stake in a product or service created by the company. The tokens are created using specified blockchain platforms. The process of the creation of tokens is relatively simple because a company is not required to write the code from scratch as in the creation of new cryptocurrency. Instead, existing blockchain platforms that run existing cryptocurrencies, such as Ethereum, allow the creation of the tokens with minor modifications of the code. Third step is the promotion campaign. This is where the company usually runs a promotion campaign to attract potential investors. It is important to note that the campaigns are commonly executed online to achieve the wider investor reach. However, currently several large online platforms such as Facebook and Google have banned the advertising of ICOs. The fourth and final step is the initial coin offering. So after the tokens have been created, they're offered to the investors. The offering may be structured in several rounds. The company can then use the proceeds from the ICO to launch a new product or service, while the investors can expect to use the acquired tokens to benefit from its product service or wait for the appreciation of the tokens in value themselves. The initial coin offering is a completely new phenomenon in the world of finance and technology. 
that introduction of ICOs made a significant impact on capital raising processes in the recent years, especially in the modern age. I hope you found today's tutorial useful and if you have any questions or comments, then do not hesitate to drop them in the comment section below. Thank you very much for tuning in. Stay safe and remember you can hit like and subscribe always. And if you'd like any further information, then please head over to our website, which is www.islamiccoin.net and I look forward to meeting you again. Thank you.